Hi, my name's Bella and I've just finished my course at the University of Exeter where I studied history and international relations. Um, I chose this university because when I looked around it, I really liked the feel of it. Um, it's a campus university, which I found really appealing. Um, the girl that showed me round was really nice and I thought, you know, we were quite similar kind of people, um, which I thought was probably a good thing. <laughs> um, uh, I really loved the forum, which is like kind of the main hub of the university. It was really modern, bright. Um, the library was huge. Um, and again, it was really modern, which I really liked. I think a lot of universities can be a bit dark and dingy, but Exeter is really modern um, and, and light and airy. Uh, so I really liked that. I also really loved um, the accommodation that I looked at. I thought, again, it was modern. Um, it was nice, it had a really nice vibe about it. Um, and yeah, so I didn't necessarily actually um, base my choice on my course necessarily. Um, it was more like the feel that I got for it because I knew that I wanted to do history um, primarily and a lot of universities do history to quite a good high level. Um, luckily actually Exeter is one of the best universities for history um, but that was kind of just a coincidence to be honest. So I did history at A level and it was my favourite subject and um, I was probably probably the subject that I was best at. Um, I also did politics for A level um, and I enjoyed that but I didn't want to do straight politics um, and I really liked the idea of, um, I, mean, I, never, I had never studied international relations before but I really liked the idea of it and it was relatively similar to politics and um, I also liked the idea of doing a combined course um, which I'm really glad I did do now because um, I think it's quite nice to uh, if you've been doing you know your history essay for hours you can put it aside and do something a little bit different um, it's not obviously completely different because they are relatively I'd say they're in the same family of subjects, but it's it's a bit different. So I really liked that. Um, and I think actually Exeter was the only place at the time, it's probably changed now, uh, that did history and international relations together. There are a lot of places that did history and politics, but history and IR was more appealing to me. Um, so, as with most humanities, uh, history, there, there aren't that many contact hours, especially when it comes to third year. I think I had about four contact hours a week, something like that. Um, so you really have to organise your own time. Um, and, you know, luckily I'm, I don't really mind doing that. Uh, I, you kind of have to set your own um, deadlines and also, actually what I did find with the combined course, as amazing as it is, um, obviously different people organise the different courses and um, they don't necessarily sit down and have a chat all together about when their deadlines are going to be. So if you do a combined course, then you may find, and I did find this quite a lot, that all my deadlines were kind of in, in at one time which was quite stressful and you as I said before you almost have to set your own deadlines for things because it's just not possible to write three essays in like two weeks so you kind of have to say well I've got to have this one done for then this one done for for now and you know I, I think that's something to bear in mind with a combined course definitely um, but in terms of the actual workload, if you do set out your time well, then I think it's okay. It's it's manageable. It's a lot of reading and a lot of um, self-motivation, but 
I think if, if you decide to do like a science or something like that, then it's the workload is perhaps a bit more intense in terms of contact hours. You will definitely have far more contact hours. Um, but then, you know, with with friends that I had that did science, at least that they go home and, and it's done. Whereas when you do history or really any humanity, humanity humanities <laughs> subject, um, you could always be reading more or doing more. So it really just depends what kind of person you are and what you like doing and how you like working. Yes, so as I mentioned before, I really liked the campus. It was one of the best things I think about the uni and the most appealing thing. Um, and I suppose with the campus also, everyone's in one place. So um, you are always bound to bump into multiple people you know whenever you go to campus. Um, I also really liked the town. Um, it's a not, definitely not a huge town, especially coming from London, it's pretty small. Um, but it has, it has lots of restaurants, it has lots of um, pubs, it's got lots of shops um, and it's also, it's got quite a nice feel to it um, so yeah I would say I really like both the campus and the town in Exeter um, well Exeter is quite renowned for having bad nightlife but I beg to differ I really enjoyed the nightlife in Exeter um, I wouldn't say there's a huge variety of nightlife um, you do end up going to kind of two or three of the same clubs basically for about three years but I didn't really mind that I really enjoyed it um, uh, what what is really nice is that because there aren't an awful lot of places to go people go to the same nights so you know it becomes known that everyone goes to fever on a Thursday or um, TP on a Wednesday and um, that kind of thing so you're always going to bump into loads of people on a night out that you know and I, I really liked that kind of thing uh, it might not be for everyone I would say that it, it's not as cheap as going out in like Newcastle or something like that uh, so maybe that's something you might want to think about I um, guess it depends how much you drink uh, which will tell you how much you'll probably spend. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the nightlife personally. And oh, actually, it's also quite a safe place to be going out. Um, I think, especially as a girl, sometimes that's something you need to think about. Obviously, you know, always walk home with someone else in a group. But I did always feel quite safe, which I think is a massive positive. Um, first year I found quite hard at first. Um, it was a lot of fun, but it was also... I think um, people sort of expect your first year of university to kind of be the best year of your life. and because you go in with that expectation sometimes you know if you're not always feeling like you're having the best time of your life you kind of think oh no am I doing this wrong is this is this normal um and I think it's very normal I spoke to so many people about this actually during during first year and also um reflecting on it um and I think a lot of people felt the same way um it is quite an odd thing to have, we don't have to go out with loads of people all the time, but it's a great way of meeting people and I think it's quite odd sometimes to try and have the best time ever with people you don't really know. It's, I, it's, it was fun, but I, I definitely enjoyed second and third year more because you kind of find your people feel more, set, more settled, you know your surroundings, that kind of thing. Uh, 
So I think actually part of the reason I perhaps didn't enjoy first year as much was that I wasn't a huge fan of my accommodation. I really liked it in terms of the physical room and I had my own little bathroom, which was really nice. Um, and I was also catered, which I am so glad that I went catered because I think, you know, having to cook on top of settling in and, you know, finding your own kind of rhythm and in university life, um, I think adding cooking to that, especially because I wasn't, I'm not massively into cooking, I think, you know, it can, might have been a bit much. Um, and also I found it was really nice to uh, have uh, like the cafeteria where you would all kind of sit sort of in big tables together. So it's quite a nice way to get to know people um, and kind of like weirdly solidify your friendships. <laughs> uh, I felt like the cafeteria was one of those places. Um, however, I did find with my accommodation, I think it was just the year, it's kind of hit and miss really, who you get obviously. Um, but a lot of people came from the same schools. So a lot of people did know each other already, which um, I found quite intimidating. And I think when there are, you know, massive groups of people that already know each other and your accommodation, it can be quite daunting to, you know, try and assert yourself into, into a big group that already know each other. Um, so I did find that quite hard at first. But again, you know, that is, it was just a bit of a shame, but it's definitely not saying I, that that happens at all of the accommodations every year. Definitely not. I had other friends who were in um, different accommodations and they didn't feel that at all. So really it, it kind of, it's hit and miss sometimes. Ooh, um, so I think my my favourite thing is probably, as I've mentioned before, is the campus kind of lifestyle. I think it's so nice to kind of have that main hub where so many people are that you know. Um, it's really it, it has a really nice community kind of feel. Like you will always be bumping into people you know. Um, and I think, yeah, in first year it's also nice because you kind of see more people who, who aren't in your accommodation necessarily. Um, so I think I think that's my favorite thing about it. Um, also probably how um, kind of sporty the vibe is at Exeter. Like sport is a huge thing and it's just, it was just quite, I really liked that whole vibe. Uh, okay, my least favorite thing. Um, I think possibly my least favourite thing was um, uh, to do with probably, uh, well I really liked my tutors and lecturers, however I did feel that it was quite hard to like get to know them, it, I didn't feel like, it was kind of one of those things where you, I think if you wanted to make an effort, um, you you had to do that. and. For instance, like if you've got a bad grade with something, that's something that you then have to take up with your tutor. They won't be saying, this wasn't great, um, or, and this is how you can make it better. Like that's something that you have to do, but I think that is, that's just a massive learning curve really for the transition from school to uni life. Um, but I, I did think, and I think a lot of my friends also thought that that perhaps should have been set out at the beginning and it wasn't really. I, I don't know if maybe we were just naive to think that, you know, that would be how it was, but, but yeah, there we go. It wasn't that bad though. <laughs> uh, yes, um, physically and also in terms of if you wanted to do extracurricular things, like there are so many societies on offer, um, like the, literally anything you want to do. I think there's a cheese society and like a Harry Potter society. There are so many things that you can 
get involved in. Um, and then also in terms of being physically outside the university, um, there are multiple beaches around Exeter and Devon, which is so nice and quite rare, I think, for most universities to have that. Um, and yeah, literally, like, you can just get a train, it takes about 20 minutes, um, or you can drive if you have a car. Um, uh, so that's really nice and also if you're a member of surf club they do multiple trips out to the beach um, like weekly um, and then also there are things that you can get involved in uh, in town as well um, there are lots of um, charities you can get involved in in town um, there's a huge like bowling alley quite close there are definitely a few things that you can do outside the university and loads that you can get involved in outside your course in the university. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, kind of, well, like I said before, maybe you don't go in with really, really high expectations. I think it can be hugely demoralizing and disappointing when you kind of feel maybe a bit down sometimes and you don't understand why why that is and I think it's very normal to feel like that especially because you know it, it's quite a big change because not only are you um surrounded by people you don't really know but that might be the first time you've kind of properly left home um and lived away from your family and that kind of thing and um I think when there's also the expectation of always having an amazing time, um, it can be a little bit um, worrying. But yeah, so I would say just um, kind of go in with an open mind about things. And if you are feeling a bit down every now and then, it's quite normal. I've spoken to so many of my friends, literally at the time, as I said, and now who felt the same kind of way. So yeah, I think that's probably what I would say. Okay, so as I mentioned, sport is a huge thing at Exeter. Um, like there's so many um, teams that you can get involved in. And what I thought was really nice is that there's, so there's the Bucks team for every sport. So there are like six Bucks, te Bucks teams um, for like netball, hockey, rugby, all that kind of, every sport basically and um you trial for those and um you can if you get in you uh, play against different universities and the training is very high standard and a lot of people love it um who do do it uh but if you don't if you don't get in or you don't particularly want to play to such a high standard or such intense training then you can do um uni league where you do trial to get in, but everyone gets in and there are just two different leagues. Um, and yeah, so you basically that's, you just play within the league, if that makes sense. You're assigned a team and then, because you're all kind of the similar standard, you just play each other. And I did that for the first two years and I really enjoyed that. Um, great way to make friends, quite chilled, but you also kind of do have you know, a bit of competition, which I think is healthy to have. Um, so, uh, yeah, sport is absolutely amazing, Exeter. And also the gym is really good. Um, there's, as I said kind of before, like there is a, a very sporty vibe at, at Exeter and like it's quite, you know, going to the gym is definitely something a lot of people do. Um, I think it's quite nice to kind of balance out the very kind of hectic lifestyle, perhaps not always the healthiest lifestyle as well. You know, if you go out a lot and you drink a lot, I think it's nice to work out as well. And um, it's definitely something that uh, a lot of people do do. Uh, so I'd say sport is absolutely amazing. Definitely nothing to complain about there. Um, yeah, so that's all my questions. Thank you.